I've wanted to make a video about this case for a while, so here it is. This is the lid of the case. Got uh, number two Phillips, flat blade, 3 16 Allen. This is a Zeus screwdriver, snap-on, stubby ratcheting with the nut driver shank, um, small flush cutter, small ratchet, magnetic spark plug socket, is a pick. Two kinds of Loctite. I prefer the Wira X Plus keys, so I've got a set of those. Um, needle nose, diagonal cutters, adjustable wrench, and a 180 Cobra. Um, don't need it much, but when you do, you do. This is the first level of the bottom. Um, and all these tools are specific to a couple cars that I work on, so I skip some sizes i've got different things that you might or might not need um, but i need them i like them i've refined this set this is my fourth version of this set and case and everything so starting over here i've got snap-on midget quarter and 5 16 just because they're low torque and you don't need them very often 11 30 seconds 3A, 7 16 half, 9 16 5 eighths, 11 16 3 quarter in regular combination wrenches. Got quarter and 3 eighths, uh, 3 inch extensions, quarter inch flex head. I've got semi deep and shallow sockets, and this is a 3 16 um, hex quarter inch. I've got three ace shallow, and then I've got quarter five sixteenths and three ace sockets. These are, you know, double box end, one ends of ratching, old Armstrong ones. Um, I know you can get better ones and you can get longer ones, but these are small. They fit in the set nice. Uh, the four way wrenches. Um, 11 sixteenths because that's number six an and then i've got uh three ace flex ratchet and i'll pull this level out and we'll show the next one okay next level we've got different deep sockets these are three ace and then i've got a number two phillips and then i've got quarter inch this is actually a three ace ratchet in a quarter inch body dead blow this is a parts tray, it's magnetic. I've got some screwdriver bits and the shank to go with the snap-on stubby. This is a speeder handle shank for the snap-on. Uh, Nipex pliers wrench, six inch extensions. I've got a Bosch three ace impact. The only reason I got the Bosch is because it's so short and thin. The Milwaukee is shorter, but it's not as thin. This is only two inches, so it fits inside this two inch foam that I've got here. Okay, bottom level, I've got torque adapters. This is a ratcheting torque adapter. This is a three ace half inch drive for turning a motor over. I also have a one inch half inch drive these two are for wheels spare battery long half inch extension for doing wheels long three ace extension got torque wrench in the three ace long half inch flex head torque wrench in half inch then i've just got a couple of adapters and a wobble here that's it that's everything in this case um, the whole case is foam that I cut the outside shape out on a CNC router and then most of these I hand cut out with a router. Uh, it's very time consuming but you can get the tools to fit you know really snug without a lot of slop. Um, this lid foam is held on with screws. I epoxied 
a nut into here. It's like a plate nut. And then this is screwed on. You can see all these are pretty close fit. And they kind of have to position the tools around these. The bottom of each layer is a quarter inch starboard plastic. It's a uh, very durable, um, doesn't absorb water like a lot of plastics do, you know, so it's good for outside use. Then I just routed these corners so they fit nice in the box and then a little handle area. Okay, that's all the layers back in the box. Um, you can see this fits right up against the edge. This one fits right against it. Nothing rattles around. I've got an air tag in here to track it if I need to. And some fun stickers on the top. Uh, thanks for watching this. Let me know what you think about this case. Is there anything I can do better? Have you made one of these? Let me know. Thanks.